SwiftUI's navigation view shows a navigation bar at the top of our views, but also does something else. It lets us push views onto a view stack. In fact, this is really the most fundamental form of iOS navigation. You can see it in settings when you tap Wi-Fi or general, or in messages when you tap someone's name. This view stack system is very different from the sheets we've used previously. Yes, both show some sort of new view, but there's a difference in the way they're presented that affects the way users think about them. Let's start by looking at some code so you can see for yourself. If we wrap the default text view with a navigation view and give it a title, we get this. Navigation view, vStack, text, hello world, navigation bar title, Swift UI. That text view is just static text. It's not a button with any sort of action attached to it. We're going to make it so that when the user taps on Hello World, we present them with a new view. And that's done using Navigation Link. Give this a destination and something that can be tapped, and it'll take care of the rest. One of the many things I love about SwiftUI is that we can use Navigation Link with any kind of destination view. Yes, we can design a custom view to push to if we want to, but we can also push straight to some text. To try this out, change your view to this. Navigation link, destination, text, detail view. Now run the code and see what you think. You'll see that hello world now looks like a button and tapping it makes a new view slide in from the right saying detail view. Even better, you'll see that the SwiftUI title animates down to become a back button and you can tap that or swipe from the left edge to go back. So both sheet and navigation link allow us to show a new view from the current one, but the way they do it is different and you should choose them carefully. Navigation link is for showing details about the user's selection, like you're digging deeper into a topic. Sheet is for showing unrelated content, such as settings or a compose window. The most common place you'll see navigation link is with a list and there SwiftUI does something quite marvelous. Try modifying your code to this. List zero to 100, row in, navigation link, destination, text, detail, row, text, row, row. When you run the app now, you'll see 100 list rows that can be tapped to show a detail view, but you'll also see gray disclosure indicators on the right edge. This is the standard iOS way of telling users another screen is gonna slide in from the right when the row is tapped and SwiftUI is smart enough to add it automatically here. If those rows weren't navigation links, if you comment out the navigation link line and its closing brace, you'll see the indicators disappear. 